Hey everyone, thanks for joining today. I have an unboxing today for this uh, little find from Fashion File. I'll start to unbox and as the video is going, I'll tell you the backstory. So the Nano Turin is a bag I have been watching and thinking about for a while. I had uh, seen a bag previously on Fashion File that I was quite interested in, but I wasn't ex exceptionally uh, convinced about the condition. I liked it. It had been on Fashion File for a little while. Someone bought it, and I was okay with that. But I kind of kept it in mind. And then after a while, another one uh, popped up in uh, what appeared to be slightly better condition. So of course I liked it again. I uh, kept it on my wish list, and I think about after two weeks, I finally decided that um, I think it might be worth looking into uh, seriously. So I decided to purchase it, and I'm, ex I'm excited to open this up and look at the condition, so let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. Let's get her out of her wrapping. Wow, what a little cutie. Isn't she cute? <laughs> That's my initial reaction. Now let's see about, uh, about condition here. The, um, the leather looks to be um, uh, patinaed, which uh, Fashion Files said uh, to expect. And yes, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, there was one close-up of a watermark, which is right there. The back side of that strap looks to be in good condition. Let's check out the back side of this strap and the front side. And the corners. the base. Okay, now let's check out the strap and the interior. So here is the dust bag. Here is the strap, which is non-removable. It's attached. Let's see the condition of the strap. Aside from just being a little, you know, twisted up inside the bag. Looks to be very good overall. And now let's check the interior. The interior is just an open space. There are no extra pockets inside. It's very clean. I don't see any discolorations. I'm just really pleasantly su surprised, especially compared to the, the previous listing that I had been watching. So I think this is a great find. Okay, let's give it a try and see what we think. All right. So that seems to be a pretty comfortable, a pretty comfortable length. 
looks and feels like that would be easy to reach into. Not too terribly high, not too terribly low. I think I would be okay if it were like an inch lower, but it's not uncomfortably high. Let me turn it around so that tag is not right there in the front. Let me so I give it a little maybe a little better visual. I think I think I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh, what a little cutie. Okay, let's see what fits. Yeah, I know Charlie, you're interested. <laughs> um uh I have a 13 uh Pro Max. I think uh just by just by looking, this is gonna be a tight squeeze here, but let's give it a try. Yeah, it fits, it technically fits, but I think that this is the largest phone that would fit in here is a 13 Pro Max because when I try to get it out, it's a squeeze. Yeah, that's no fun to try to get this out. You have to shimmy it. You have to shimmy it out. You can get it in with a little bit of a twist, but you have to work um, to get it out to see what else um, fits in here. So I'll get the phone in and then I, um, when I carry a small uh, crossbody, I have these two uh, small little wallets here. It's a little um, coach piece that has some card slots on the outside. So I'll go ahead and stick that in. I'll put the little tassel at the bottom so that it hopefully won't interfere with the zipper. Put that in vertically. And then my excess overflow cards would go in here. And there's, because of the design of the bag, there's a lot more room in the, in the bottom. So it's gonna be tight at the top, but there's a lot more room in the bottom. So I'm gonna throw my key fob down in there. I know it's gonna fit once it gets down there in the bottom. And it's gonna zip up. And there's more room for things, you know, like at the bottom. Like, let's say if I want, could I get a pack of tissues in there? Yes. So I think that, that gives us a first impression of things that would fit in this little, this little bag here, the Nano Turin. What a cutie, but this is something that, well, that depends. Uh, it depends on um, your comfort level with getting your phone in and out of the bag. So what are your thoughts on this little cutie? What, what are your thoughts on the Nano series, the other Nano bags? Um, that Louis Vuitton has made over the years. Um, I would love if the straps were removable. That would be an extra bonus, but I think this is workable for me. I can't get over the cuteness of this little bag and the little top handles here. Oh, I just think it's super cute. And I'm really pleasantly surprised with the condition, uh, especially because, um, as I mentioned before in the backstory, I had been watching one on Fashion File that was the same price, but not as good condition. So I'm really glad that I waited and was able to uh, score this little beauty here. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, let me know. Let me know your comment in the comments below and I hope to see you next time. Bye.